Dr. Brad Norm, North Spinal Health Center. Uh, we're coming to you to show you our first exercise in helping with the upper cross syndrome. Remember in our previous video we talked about upper cross syndrome is when uh, the front part of our chest becomes too tight and our back becomes weak and it starts to uh, allow our head to fall forward. That's a problem because when our head is not sitting perfectly over our spine, our muscles have to act in order to hold it upright. And this can cause headaches, it can cause neck pain, it can cause upper mid back pain, uh, shoulder impingement syndrome, and even radicular syndromes down into the arms and the hands and the wrist. So we're going to show you a very simple exercise called the neck retraction exercise. We're going to have Joanna help us with this today. She's super excited about being on the video with me today. And uh, what this is, is this is just bringing your chin right back into a posterior translation. So we're going to have her up against this. Now you can use uh, like a Nerf ball, uh, or some, some type of resistance, even a towel behind your head. But we're going to have her just go straight back. Perfect. And we're going to do three sets of ten of this. Go ahead. Now, if you have, thank you, if you have this issue, it's going to be very difficult for you to do this in the beginning. But what we want to avoid is we want to avoid your chin going up or your chin going down. We're just trying to give yourself a double chin. So as you go straight back, that's going to start to develop the uh, deep neck flexors and help to uh, position this head in more of a neutral alignment as opposed to that anterior head posture that's causing so many problems. If you do this exercise and it causes any adverse uh, symptoms, headaches, dizziness, uh, anything unusual, please give our office a call. Uh, and if you need our help in taking care of some of these symptoms that we've been talking about with upper cross syndrome, call our office at 618-997-8066. We look forward to helping you. Thank you.